Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very happy that you clicked this video. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for subscribing. Remember that it's completely free and just like clicking the red button, you are subscribed. Well, today I will show you how you can make this beautiful joke. In this case, the magic of this video is that I will show you how to make the beginning and you can use the same joke to make a blouse, a poncho, a vest or any other um, idea that you may have. So here I, I will give you the paste and all my secrets and tips and then you will decide if you want to continue making this for a blouse or as a sweater or as a poncho or as a vest like you want. For this case I will divide this video in two parts. So this will be the first part and stay tuned for the second part. Remember that first I will give you the material list. Well, in this case, for a blouse in a large size, we are going to use two skein of yarns. Each skein of yarns will be of 250 grams. Then we are going to need 100 in a different color. This yarn will be between light or medium weight yarn. Then we are going to use a crochet hook of number 3.5 millimeters. So make the combination that you want. In this case, I will use this one. Well, we will start this blouse by the neck, okay? Well, this joke, to be specific. We are going to make this stitch in multiples of 8. So to start, we are going to make 112 chains. Well, at the end of the 112 chains, we will try that these are not twist. So we will try to close straight. We will close in circle like this. We are going to slip one. And then we will go up, just let's slip one and close, okay. So then we will go up with one, two, three chains, we will turn over and then we will make one double crochet out of three crochet in each stitch. You see, we are going to take both parts of the chain and we will take all the stitches the same. So turn over, we will insert the hook right here not here remember because if not the stitch will open too much so yarn over insert your hook please be careful and go in order take one take two and take three like this is how we are going to continue all around making this double crochet well at the end of the row we will check that we didn't twist okay so once we are sure and also once we count we have the 112 chains I mean the same number of, of uh, chains that we made as base chains we are going to continue and slip one to close okay so like this is how we are going to close the row and well right away we will start taking the stitches in relief this means that we are going to place the hook in the back and from there we will make the first double crochet. Here we have the first one, then we are going to make a second double crochet in row lift. So here we have two and we are going to make a third one. As you could see, I keep placing the hook in the back, then yarn over, we will insert the hook right in the chain, we will make a double crochet. So here we have one, remember we will take all the stitches the same, we are going to take only the back part of the chain making like a brief stitch. At the end you will see that we will have a beautiful pleat in the front. It will be a different detail and we will make the difference, you will see. So like this we are going to make first 5 double crochet, so here we have 4 and then this is the 5th, then turn over and then we are going to make again the stitches in relief so here we have one two remember that the stitch in relief means that we are going to place the hook in the back so first we'll turn over then we will insert the hook in the back and then from there we will make the double crochet then again the five double crochet and like this the whole row following this sequence well, at the end of this first row, we are going to slip one to close. Now we will have something like this. Remember that here we have these stitches in relief. So also right away we will in 
to start the first stitch in relief 2 so turn over and we will continue making these stitches in relief just that the one that will go in the middle will go double so it means that we are going to make two in the same place so here we have two and the last one will be single again so here we increased and instead of having three we will have four in this row then in this segment where we made the five double crochet but taking on the back part of the chain I mean the, like the rib stitch we are going to continue making five we are just going to increase here in the middle okay so like this is how we are going to continue the whole row well look at the end we are going to slip one to close so so far we have one two and three rows right so in the row number four we will continue making this segment in the relief but in the third uh, double crochet we are going to make it double so right here we are going to make two double crochet also in relief as you could see together and then the last one single so again here where we make these stitches in relief is where we are going to increase so now instead of having four we will have five then we will continue again making the double crochet with rib stitch we are going to make five and then again in the next segment we are going to increase as you could see i did continue the same the whole row so at the end you, we are going to slip one to close remember that in we are in the row number four so in the row number five again we will start the row making the first stitch in relief then the second again in relief so here in this part it will be a little bit different so now in the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet without making it in relief so right here a double crochet so here we have one and then the next one in relief again then the next one a double crochet the next one as a double crochet in relief the next one also a double crochet in relief and we will have something like this so we will have the two of the edge in relief then the ones that are in between will be just double crochet and then the one that it's in the middle uh, a double crochet in relief then uh, for this next segment we'll change so we'll here in this segment we are going to reduce this last double crochet we will skip it so first we will make this one remember also taking the back part of the chain we are going to leave a small pleat in the front it will look so beautiful at the end don't worry so here we have three then four let me take more yarn okay so here we have four so this last one we will skip it and then we will continue remember the two first double crochet in relief we will continue in relief then we are going to make one double crochet not in relief then the one that it's in the middle in relief then a double crochet just normal and then the last two in relief and then in the next segment again we will repeat we will skip to make the last double crochet of the segment out of the five we will make four so like this we are going to continue following the sequence the whole row well at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close so so far we have five rows so in the sixth row we will insert the hook in the back we will start right away in relief we will make the first one in relief then in the beginning also in the first one we are going to make again one together so we will make two in relief in the same place together so then one in relief so as you could see here we have three in relief then the one that we made in the last row just simple double crochet we are going to make one before then one over it and then the next one in relief then again this one one over double crochet over double crochet then in relief so remember the 
double crochet off the edge in row lift and here we are about to make the double two double crochet in row lift remember that the ones that will go right in the edge will be doubles so we are going to make two so we will have something like this two then two double crochet one in row lift then two double crochet and then we will increase in the edge to double crochet so again we are going to make double crochet over double crochet remember taking the back part of the chain so here we have one two three and then we will skip these two and right away we are going to continue with this next segment remember at the beginning we are going to make it double then the third th a double crochet in row lift and basically we are going to repeat as you could see here we are drawing a leaf well at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close then will be one one two three four five and six this will be the row number seven right away also in relief we will make the first double crochet in relief then the second double crochet in relief so basically one over the other so here we have three double crochet in relief this then these two we are going to make one before so one double crochet then one over it taking both parts of the chain these double crochets like this one so here we have two I mean three right so then the next one in row lift so here we have one then we will continue making one double crochet two and then three this one in row lift so here we have one two and the third double crochet in row lift and then here out of the three we are going to make taking the back part of the chain in drift stitch we are going to make two and we will skip the last one and then we will continue with the next segment and like this the whole row well so here at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close then this will be the row number eight and in this row we are going to change the color you are going to decide the combination that you want and remember that in this case I use as a combination a light beige that will look beautiful so we will make the first three double crochet in the relief so here we have three and then this one this next segment we are just going to make two so here we have one and two and right here is where we are going to change color so as I told you we are going to use this light beige so here we won't cut the first color that we used we are going to just make a knot in the same thread because I want to avoid like to cut and to have like more loosened threads and things like that so now with this new color we are going to continue we are going to continue uh, making the next stitch in row lift so here we have one okay then in this same stitch we are going to make two together so here we have two and three this will be in relief you see and again we are going to make a fourth double crochet in the relief all of them in the same place we are going to take the hook out and slip one to make a popcorn well then without cutting or so we are going to leave the thread behind and with the a brownish <laughs> color we are going to continue now one we are going to make one double crochet between the popcorn and before the next uh, stitch then the next one we are going to make it in relief so we kind of increase as you could see the one after the stitch that we made in relief we are going to make a double crochet 
and then we are going to change color again and right here we are, is where we are going to make the second popcorn so inside taking the stitch in our left we are going to make four double crochet so here we have three and four then we will take the hook out and we are going to insert the hook at the beginning and we will join the first one with the last one and we will close and to make one chain too close we are going to use the brownish color then again we are going to change color so as you could see between popcorns we are going to make one double crochet then one in relief and then after one double crochet so we are going to uh, take the light thread with us as you could see I taken it behind and while I crochet the next stitches I will crochet over it so I can um, move forward with the thread behind so here we are going to make this one in relief I'm going to keep the beige thread in hold right there then in this segment we are going to make these three a double crochet in the relief then we will skip all of these stitches we will go right away to make the next three double crochet in the relief we are going to make this to close the drawing of the leaf you will see so here we have the third double crochet in the relief and then here we will take again the beige thread and we are going to make the popcorn but before we are going to make this double crochet one two as you could see here I'm taking this page thread here behind with us so we will avoid to cut and to have more loosened threads and making more knots right so I'm going to close this last double crochet to start here making the popcorn we are going to make four double crochet in the same stitch here we have three and four then we are going to take the hook out and we will join the first loop with the last one and to make the cha one chain to close we are going to use this brownish then also we are going to keep this thread behind and we are going to make one double crochet after the popcorn then the one that it's in the relief then the next one double crochet between this this one we are going to close the row sorry the segment with the light um, thread and again in this a stitch in relief again we are going to make four double crochet together then we are going to take one the first loop with the last one and we are going to make one chain to close here so so far we have something like this well so at the end of the row number eight I'm sorry <laughs> almost the camera uh, felt okay so we will start right away making this first three double crochet in the relief so here we have two yeah and three we are going to leave the last loops in hold then we are going to bring them through and one chain to close then we are going to make the same in the other side too well well now to continue here we are going to make here a double crochet as you could see also as rib stitch here we have the second one over the popcorn that we made then we are going to make a third I mean one after the popcorn then one over the popcorn and then one next to the popcorn so also uh, no but here we are going to change color so we are going to alternate the popcorns we are going to make one right here 
taking this double crochet, not the one that it's in relief as you could tell. So here inside we are going to make four double crochet. So here we have two, three, and four double crochet. So here we have the fourth. Then we will take the hook out and we will take the first loop with the last one and we are going to slip one to close then to make the chain we are going to use this uh, brownish color to make the chain then turn over here we are going to make a double crochet after the popcorn so here we have one then one the next one in relief and then one after the one that we made in relief and again we are going to change color and right here we are going to make a popcorn again please be careful i know that uh, taking two threads it's a bit difficult but relax and enjoy and you will see how beautiful the result is so again here as you could see we are alternating the popcorns so here we are going to make a second popcorn between this segment so so here I'm having a little trouble taking this thread so again we are going to make and keeping these two threads behind we are going to make four double crochet inside to make the popcorn and like this is how we are going to continue. I will continue the whole row and then I will show you. Okay, I think that I'm going to make a review to a practice. Okay, so here we increase between these two popcorns as you could see. Then we are going to change color again and we are going to make one chain to close now with this brown color. Now again we are going to continue and change the color, we will use this orange brown, I don't know exactly how to, to tell you, and we are going to make one double crochet over the popcorn, as you could see we are going to also keep with this beige thread behind, then one double crochet next to the popcorn and a third double crochet right there. So we have three double crochet after the popcorn. Then we are going to make one double crochet in the relief. We will uh, leave the last loops in hold. Then the second double crochet in the relief and the third double crochet in the relief with the last loops in hold. Then we are going to bring them through and make one chain to close. Again here we are going to make these three double crochet in the relief so here we have two leaving the last loops in hold then we are going to bring them through and make one chain to close and again uh, so far look how we are making this eight row we are going to take the light beige thread behind and we will repeat what we made in the other side so like this is how we are going to continue the whole row and this will be the end of the first part please stay tuned for the second part where i will show you how we are going to finish this joke and how we will end and transform this joke to make a beautiful blouse so please stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video please leave me a comment and share this video if you liked thank you